John 15, verses 1 to 8. I am the true wine, and my Father is the wine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruits. Verse 3, you are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Verse 4, abide in me and I in you. As a branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the wine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the wine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me you can do nothing. Verse 6, if anyone does not abide in me, he is cast out as a branch and is withered and they gather them and throw them into the fire and they are burnt. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. By this my Father is glorified that you bear much fruit, so you will be my disciples. All right, very quickly, a few insights here from this passage. The first one I want to just highlight for us is this. That God desires for us to be very fruitful and keep increasing in fruit. Jesus says, he uses this analogy. He says, I'm the wine, you're the branches, and my father is the wine dresser. What is the father looking for? He's trying to get all of us to bear much fruit. Now, what is fruit? What is the fruit he's referring to? Fruit is the expression of God's working in your life. Now, I like, to character, I like to talk about the fruit in these three components. The first two apply to all of us, are universal, meaning all of us as believers. The second one is very specific to us as individuals, the components of the fruit that we're supposed to bear. The first one is that all of us are supposed to increase in Christ-likeness. The second component of this fruit that it should manifest in our lives, and again, it applies to all of us as believers, is that we all should be doing the things Jesus told us to do, which is to win souls and make disciples. The third one is in very specific to you and me, which is that you and I must be increasing or be fruitful in the assignment God has for our lives. The second insight here is this, that pruning is necessary for greater fruitfulness in our lives. Prune. That word prune there, it comes from the root word, means to cleanse, to clean up, to purge, to clean. What is, what is cleaning? Get rid of all the dirt. And not only get rid of the dirt, get rid of all the unnecessary thing. Number three. One of the ways pruning or cleaning happens is by his word. So the word of God has pruning effect in our lives. The word of God has a cleansing, cleaning effect. And that's why it's so important to read. God's word. Number four, the key to fruitfulness is intimacy. He put it like this in verse five. He said, he who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. The word abide simply means settle down. I want to quickly condense it, summarize it for you and me. John says this, for instance, in 1 John four fifteen, he says, whoever confesses that Jesus is the Christ. He abides in God and God abides in him. Second thing you see in John's epistles, John says that if we walk in obedience to his commandments, he who obeys his commandments, God dwells in him and he in God. The third thing you see in the epistle of John, 1 John is this, if we walk in love, he says God is love and he who walks in love dwells in God and God dwells in him. And then, one more thing we see there is this. He dwells in us by his word in us and by his spirit in us. So when we let the word of God and the spirit of God it just dominate every part of our being, we are abiding in God and he is abiding in us. And the last one I want to point out here and we'll pray after this is this. Asking is connected to expressing fruitfulness. In verse 7 he says, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you ask what you will. So as we look ahead to 2018, let's journey together in a greater intimacy with the Lord and greater fruitfulness for his kingdom. And just keep this in mind that true intimacy will always produce greater fruitfulness so the Father can be glorified.